I was a participant in the Ocean.com program in 2018, held at the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium campus, referred to as LUMCON. At that event, the gathering of scientists, communicators, educators, and more were challenged to come up with ways to tell the stories of coastal optimism along the Louisiana coast. The weekend was filled with conversations with local residents and trips in the field. I think the most surprising conversation I had was on my flight back home to Philadelphia. I was sitting next to a woman on the plane, a Louisiana resident, and she asked why I was traveling. I explained the workshop and coastal optimism theme, and she immediately said, oh yeah, the Christmas trees. The Christmas trees are a good thing. I was so curious about the connection between Christmas trees and the coast, since we hadn't talked about that at LUMCOM, and I didn't even mention Christmas trees to her. When I returned home, I started my research. What I learned then inspired me to design from scratch a quilt to tell a story of coastal optimism in Louisiana and the role of Christmas trees. Louisiana is reported to be losing 25 to 35 square miles of coastal wetlands each year, one football field of land per hour. The causes of the land loss are from natural causes and human interference and include reduced sediment flow from the Mississippi River and its tributaries, land subsidence, and sea level rise. To combat the diminishing and degrading coastal habitats, Jefferson Parish instituted a program that found a role for discarded Christmas trees to lessen wave energy and to combat erosion. Wooden cribs are constructed parallel to the shore to hold the trees. Volunteers, the Louisiana Air National Guard, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, as well as others, have coordinated the collection and placement of trees in these pens to lessen the impact of waves and storms. The calm water between the cribs and the coast traps sediment and allows for plants and aquatic life to establish. Jefferson Parish has been tracking the impact of this Christmas tree recycling project. Between 1998 and 2015, an unprotected area of shoreline lost over 23 acres of habitat, while a section protected by trees only lost three acres. The Christmas tree recycling program not only assists coastal habitats, but generates awareness among Louisiana residents and provides an opportunity for participation in making a difference for the coast. With the background to the excitement around Christmas trees, I was able to design and create my quilt. The quilt is to be viewed from the top to the bottom, representing a relative sequence over time as viewed at one location. No quantitative data is implied in terms of spatial or temporal patterns sewn. Each horizontal gray strip of fabric represents breaks in time. At the top of the quilt, one sees a wide strip of plant fabric representing a marsh coastline and a smaller piece of water fabric representing the coastal water. As one moves down to the next row of plant and water fabric, there is less of the land fabric and more of the water fabric. This is to represent erosion occurring along the Louisiana coast where marsh habitat is being lost from wave energy, subsidence, and sea level rise. As one moves down the next several rows, there's a continued loss of the coast with an increasing encroachment of water. In the middle of the quilt, a Christmas tree crib appears. The successive rows show a reduction in loss of the marsh over time reflecting the results shared by Jefferson Parish. Still some marsh loss, but less volume when the Christmas trees were put in place. For the back of the quilt, I used a fabric that portrays sea glass, representing samples of sea glass I collected on an oyster shell bank during a LUMCON trip we took to the Our Lady of the Sea statue. This site is where the annual Blessing of the Fleet ceremony is held every April when the local priests bless the area's fishing boats ahead of the shrimping season. That's a separate story of coastal erosion and hope, 
and you can read about it on the Atlas Obscura website in a contribution written by one of the Ocean.com participants. But this quilt is my story of coastal optimism, a story of habitat loss and degradation that is slowed by the placement of discarded Christmas trees. So thank you to the woman sitting next to me in seat 17B on American Airlines flight number 1630 on March 20th, 2018. I appreciate your inspiration and your optimism. <laughs>